Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is Orphan Lass and today we're going to actually start uh, doing some intensive work on uh, making this a cutout animation. Now we've gone ahead, we've created our sketch, we've gone ahead and turned that sketch into a drawing, uh, and then we've converted it into being a, uh, not just a PNG, we, we saved it as a PNG, we turned it into a vector inside of OpenTunes, and now we need to separate all the variously different parts into different columns. Okay, so the first part I'm going to separate, not necessarily put into a separate column quite yet, is going to be the hair. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and separate that. Actually, I'm going to undo that because I brought some of his hair, I mean, some of his eyebrow with with him, and I'm just going to put it over there. And since I have the vector work still right here, uh, I can just easily put it right back into place. Now, with that being done, I can actually uh, go ahead and have a guideline right here for uh, the shape of his head. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the... Um, the geometry tool and I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, let's see polyline I, I kind of don't even like how this works I wish it worked more like the um, um, I, I'm not really quite sure what it's called inside of uh, Photoshop I, I, it's been so long since I last used Photoshop but um, the way that uh, you're able to create a, a similar sort of setup with uh, Photoshop is just so much better like the tool for it okay so that's it that's all I want right there oops why is it a different color I'm gonna use the control point editor and delete this specific thing right here I'm gonna use the brush let me select uh, an actual color that I'm using I'm gonna close up this ear and Use the selection tool, select that, make it turn into the right color, use the control point editor, and close this off. And then I'm going to police my line a little bit so that it uh, it works and makes sense with uh, with the shape of a human head, I guess, and, and with the hair and everything. Um, let's see... Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Uh, okay, now I'm going to go ahead and separate the ears. I'm gonna just do that. Well, it didn't select everything I wanted. Okay, let's see what happens when I separate it. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, um, I'm now going to go ahead and. Select here, well, use the control point editor, and with the control point editor, I'm going to press control and put in another control point, and sometimes it puts it in a weird place. So I'm going to move it down and move this one. Let's see. Let's move this up again. Make sure that the contours of his face are making sense. What? Why is it? Okay, okay, something's going on that's weird. Okay, so I moved one of the handles in a weird spot. And it's still in a weird spot. Okay, what the hell? Alright, well, I'll pause it for now. I'm going to revisit a few spots with the uh, the pump tool, and uh, come on, pull out the pump tool. Okay, there we go, and just uh, give it a little bit more life throughout the head because you know I never really know if I'm going to go back and have this character go bald in a different scene or something. Okay, so I've I've done a little bit of uh, cleanup and, and just changing things around a little bit. Like uh, one thing that uh, I did with one of the ears, and I'm planning on doing even with this one actually. In fact, I might have this ear be symmetrical with the other one, just simply because uh, I like how the vector work wound up working with uh, this particular ear a, a lot more than I did with the other ear. Um, uh, basically, uh, I, I just using the pump tool and, and touching it up. Actually, I'm just gonna 
delete this ear entirely and do that right now. Just copy, paste, copy, paste. Oops, it didn't select everything. Okay, so copy, paste, move it over here. Okay, select it again. Subtract one, oops, come on, subtract 100, and now it's flipped. Okay, now that we've done all this uh, preliminary work, we can actually get on to the, the big stuff, basically, uh, or the fun stuff. So let's go ahead and select this eyebrow, and uh, let, well, actually, okay, so we're going to first create a new, eye, a, a new level, okay, new level. Uh, and this is his left eyebrow. Left, okay, H L uh, brow is what I'm going to call it. His left brow, okay. And it's going to be a vector tunes layer. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead. Okay, select it here and cut it. Select here, paste it, and then I'm going to create another layer or new column new column or call it a new it's a new level okay so it's going to be his right brow okay this is a really tedious process actually i'm going to go ahead and start deactivating them as i'm going along that way i know what is and is not finished and uh, you need to make sure that you're on the right column when you're selecting it cut okay uh that didn't work out as i planned Okay, make sure that I have everything. Okay, so cut his right brow, paste. So I'm not I'm not working with stage left and stage right. I, I, I'm going to be working because stage left and stage right can change with the rotation of your character. Uh, as you're going along, make sure that you uh, double click up here in the yellow and you name them accordingly as you go. And uh, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and select his nose. Make sure I have the right column selected. Grab his nose. Uh, cut. Paste. And then make transparent. And move along. Uh, as for his eyes, uh, they're going to be tricky. And I'll explain why. So I create two columns. And one is going to be his left eye lid. Okay. And then I'm going to name the other one his left eye, uh, basically, wrist, eye wrist. And so that's what they're going to be called. So uh, this is his left eye. Oops, let me go ahead and get to the right place. Okay, so select his left eye, cut, move it on over to the eyelid, paste, and then I'm going to go ahead and select these two. Basically, the iris is just basically what I summarize it as being. And then select it uh, and put it into the other one. So you want the, the eyes, each eye, to cover two different uh, columns. Okay? And then we're going to do the same thing with the other eye. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put one of his ears into a new level. New level here. Um, let's see. His right ear. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and apply that, and oops, make sure I have the right column selected. Select the ear, cut, move it on over to this one, paste, and now that I've gone ahead and done that, I can just go ahead and place them into their location. Alright, so make sure they're in the right spot, that looks good, and select the other ear, and move it into place since I pasted this one. This might need to have some skewing. Do the same thing with the hair. New level, hair, and uh, select it here. And uh, I'm going to do this with every single body part. It's less tedious with the body. And uh, move along from there. I'll include you in on the process throughout the whole thing. Anyways, that pretty much concludes it for this video. If you guys uh, enjoyed it, if you found it informative, please like, share, and subscribe. And have a good day. I'm just going to let the video end where it naturally ends at 10 minutes. All right.